Hi guys and welcome to this tutorial on the production possibility frontier which is also known as the PPF diagram. Now it's primarily aimed at English students taking economics at the AQA level and I'm basically just going to run for the basics so that you will understand it. It's a basic diagram where it's in a theoretical economy where you can only produce two different goods, one good being on the y-axis and the second good on the x-axis and it basically shows your most efficient way of producing two goods in an economy. For example, if you produce, say that's five here, you can produce five consumer goods and let's just call that number 16 there, you can produce 16 capital goods so that's just basically what it is in a nutshell. It basically just compares two different products that you can output in an economy. So here are a couple of points labelled on the diagram. And I'll go from A or to E first. So A is an inefficient economy. So basically what that means is is that it's not producing the maximum that it can the maximum being on this black line so if you be totally efficient with creating your goods you're on this black line if you're not then you're below this black line which B and A are so it's basically saying that they're inefficient and they're not producing to their maximum ability to be inefficient this is probably caused by unemployment or other things like that where the economy isn't totally functioning to its total capacity. If it's a point on this line, the boundary it's often called, then you're going to have 100% efficiency in your economy. If you've got this point here, point E, it's actually a trick question because E isn't on the boundary and it's not below the boundary. Well, you can't get above the boundary because that's not possible. So it's actually a trick question and it's impossible to have that. Moving on to part two of this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about how you can move this boundary out because we want to be seeing how we can be more efficient, produce more goods in our economy. So there are four factors to moving this boundary outwards. C and D are showing this coming out, these arrows are showing it coming out here. The first one is land, so if you have an increased level of land, you're going to be producing more goods, so that's that one. Then your second reason why it might come out is technology, and basically what that means is, is that if you have a high level of technology, then it's going to become more efficient because technology and capital intensive work is much more efficient than labor intensive. The third one is resources. If you have an increase in resources then you can produce more for a cheaper price and then drive that what you're producing out. And the fourth one is labor. If you have more workers you can produce more in the same amount of time. So it's going to shift that boundary out. If you have any more questions on the PPF or production possibility frontier then please comment below and I'll be happy to answer any of your questions and don't forget to comment. Thank you very much.